Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize a frontal and also how to make a frontal wig. I'm going to be using Julia hair and I have their Brazilian straight hair 24, 24, 22 and a 20 inch frontal. So I'm taking my BW2 powder and I'm using a 40 volume developer to bleach the knots on the frontal. So I'm going to make this consistency really thick and it's going to be like toothpaste. I'm just lightly spreading it onto the frontal making sure not to put a lot of pressure so it doesn't go through to the hair. So after the knots are completely covered with the bleach, I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, I'm just going to wash the frontal with my Pantene conditioner and shampoo. And then I went on and I washed the bundles as well. So now it's time for one of the hardest parts of making a wig is plucking the frontals to make sure the hairline is natural. As you guys can see, I have got a new mannequin head. I've stepped up from the styrofoam head. So now it's a little bit easier for me to do this, but it's still a lot of work. So I've got the frontal secure on the mannequin head and I'm just going to spray the hairline with a little water because it's easier to do this while the hair is damp. So I'm going to show you guys the technique that I use that seems to be the easiest for me and I feel like for beginners this is going to be especially easy. So what I do is go in sections and I just take a small section from the front and I pluck downward making sure to leave space in between where I pluck from. It's a little bit easier for you guys to see what I'm doing rather than explain, but I'm going to try to explain to the best of my ability. So I'm just going to take a section, pluck a little bit, and then like skip maybe a few centimeters and pluck there. I didn't do a lot to this front section because the frontal was pretty nice to begin with. It wasn't super dense like a Barbie hairline, but as I go through the sections, I will pluck a little bit more and you guys will be able to see a little bit easier what I'm doing. And when you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure to check often how much you have plucked because you can end up plucking a lot by doing this technique. So make sure you just check often how much you have plucked. I wanted to see if plucking this way would make it easier, but to me it was just a little bit harder to pluck. So I just kept doing it the other way. This was just me testing something out and I really didn't like it. I've seen some people do it like this but this technique did not work for me. So this is how the first side looks after I'm completely finished plucking it and I'm just taking some foam just to see how it looks just to see how far I have gotten with the plucking and if there's anything extra I need to do to make it look good. I forgot to mention that I do go on three sections the two sides and then the middle and this makes it a lot easier because you're just working with a smaller area instead of just trying to go through the whole frontal in one big section. So the technique for the middle part of your frontal is basically the same 
as doing the sides but you're going to want to make sure that you don't pluck as much because naturally your hair is thinner on the sides than it is in the middle but I think I did a little bit of over plucking of the middle but I know not to do that anymore. So this is how the frontal looks completely plucked and I did get a little lazy when I went to the other side because it was really late at night and I was tired but I knew it really wouldn't matter because I was going to wear the hair straight down and you really want to see what the sides look like. So now it's time to make the wig finally and I just use a black dome cap. I've never used anything other than a black dome cap to make my wigs. I just find it super easy and I'm just securing the frontal down to the dome cap with some t-pins and then I'm gonna start sewing this is what you want your frontal to look like in the back it does not matter that it's super bunchy in the front it's not gonna matter but you want it to be super taut in the back and just really smooth that's what matters is how straight the back is it took me a long time to figure this out and I was always wondering why my frontal wigs would never be on right and it would always be a mess but when I learned this, it really changed the game for me. So I used two different methods when sewing down a frontal wig. I use one method for sewing down the frontal and then I use another method for sewing down the bundles. So for the frontal, I just literally go back and forth in and out with the needle and thread. I don't do any special method. I just go back and forth, back and forth, or in and out, in and out. I just find that it lays a little bit flatter than if I try the blanket method which I use for the bundles. I mean, I'm probably wrong and I'm pretty sure there's professionals who probably use the blanket method and it comes out super flat, but for me, it just lays a little bit flatter and it's a little bit easier for me to just do the in and out method for the frontal. And that's probably not what it's called, but that's what I call it, so. So this is what it should look like when you're done and as you can see it's super flat and that is what you want. So it's the next day, like it literally took me two and a half days to complete this wig but it's the next day now and I'm going to start showing you guys how I put the tracks down. So I do cut my tracks, I know some people do the flip over method or something like that. They do where they double the tracks or whatever, I don't do any of that. I just go straight across and I cut the tracks so I measure how long I need it and then I t-pin one side down and I begin to sew by putting the needle through the thread and connecting it to the dome cap and then I begin to sew it down so I use the blanket method is where you take the thread pull it to the side and then you go over the thread so look a little closer and you can see exactly what I'm doing because I'm having a hard time explaining how to do it but as you can see I just take it pull it to the side go through the um, track and then I go through the dome cap and I pull the needle over or in front of the thread and I pull it through and it stays pretty secure for me and I know that there's you know other people who do it differently but I'm not professional and this is what works best for me so when I get to the end I just take the t-pin out and then I do a little knot at the end of the track
So I literally just stack the tracks until I get to the top and I'm finished. But one thing I want to mention that I do, which I'm not sure if it makes a big difference or not, but I alternate where I start sewing. So if I started the track the first time on the right, I will start sewing down the track the next time on the left. So for example, here I started sewing the track down on the left. And when I get to the next track, when I'm finished with this one, I will start sewing on the right and I will end on the left. So you're going to get to a point where you basically have a circle in your wig and when you get to that point you're going to start wanting to stack your tracks straight. You're not going to want to curve them anymore because if you started to do the tracks up and down at some point you're going to have to start it to curve your tracks a little bit but when you get to where there's like a perfect circle in the wig you're going to um, stack your tracks straight up and down like totally straight. So by the time you reach the frontal again, all you're going to have to do is put down one straight piece and it will be completely done. So this is how the wig looks completed and I only ended up using two full bundles and less than half of the third bundle but it's still very thick. It's basically you use three bundles because you have the frontal and now I'm just cutting out the um, black part where the frontal is and then I'm going to straighten the hair. So this is the wig straightened and almost completed. I'm going to show you guys in a part two video how I apply the wig and how I add baby hairs to my lace frontals. I also want to mention how I thought it was really nice how they added the widow's peak to the frontal. I know that some people have to like completely add a widow's peak when they have frontals so I really thought it was nice that they included it. I just wanted to mention that. But that is it for this video. Definitely stay tuned for part two. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Christy J. And I will see you guys in my next video.